Welcome back to CNT Today. It's What's Cooking Wednesday, and we are here in, inside Southern Sugar, a brand new location here in Fort Mill. Here we have the owner, Courtney Thompson. Thanks for letting us come in here today. Thank you for coming in. We're excited to have you. It's absolutely beautiful. So first, where are we? Where, where's the side of Fort Mill? Right. We are in downtown Fort Mill off of Main Street. We're right here at the corner, right next to Crossings on Main, and we are in the old Center Theater. We our front doors are located right underneath the marquee. Okay, and it's very beautiful in here. Very Thank eclectic. You. I love it. So talk about what you guys offer here. Right. So by definition, we are a boutique bakery, espresso and wine bar. Uh, we are going to offer a shared tapas style after 5 p.m. So you can get things like flatbread, charcuterie boards, some sliders, oh, yeah. and then we have some really great southern desserts. We have a family recipe banana pudding, we have affogato, and we also have a bourbon bread pudding, among the other things that are typical southerns. We have red velvet uh, red velvet cake oh, yeah. and German chocolate. All right. Well, I know yeah. that and today you have a special uh, French or lavender vanilla latte. We do. We're doing a <laughs> lavender vanilla latte yeah. today. They're absolutely delicious infused with lavender and we're making it. Alisa, our right. barista, yeah, is going to be making it with oatly milk. Okay, so just tell us a little bit about what she's doing here in this process. Sure, absolutely. So what Alisa is doing is what we call pulling the shot and um, it is your espresso machine. She's right now steaming the milk um, and making it really frothy and creamy. Um, and what she's going to do after the shot is pulled, which is the espresso, okay. she's going to put it in the cup, top it with the milk, and then she's going to infuse it with the lavender and vanilla. Um, right, and actually we're going to be using oatly milk, which is kind of the new almond milk. Okay. Right? Uh, it is absolutely delicious, and it really kind of gives you that creamy oatmeal flavor. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, now I've never thought about lavender or vanilla in, in a lot to say, so that just sounds delicious. So do you guys come up with these recipes here yourself? We do. We do. We, we've come up with quite a few on our own, and okay. we also try to stay on trend. So right now, lavender vanilla lattes are really popular okay. right now, and we just try to offer what people want. Love it. Okay, so she, this is as if she would serve it to a customer, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful, Lisa. Thank you so much. It looks <laughs> delicious. <laughs> And you guys, you guys, you said you opened um, this weekend, right? Or this past weekend? <laughs> yes, yeah, we, um, it's been a long time coming. Um, it's, it's taken a little bit of, uh, of time to get the building um, up and going, but we got all of our permits and we said, let's open on Saturday. Okay. So we opened for the first time Saturday morning and we were able to offer people coffee um, and wine and beer. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Well, yeah. we're actually gonna head over to the bar and learn a little bit about that Absolutely. as well. Sure. We're here behind the bar at Southern Sugar, and Courtney, tell me about what you're pouring right here. We have an Avisi Prosecco, and it's a wonderful bubbly that people come in and really enjoy. It's fruit forward, it's crisp, it's really smooth, it's it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful Prosecco. Okay, and yeah. then you have a red wine here, talk about that one. We do actually, we have a full selection of red wines. This is actually a Clancy Red. Okay. Um, it's going to be a blend. It's a Cab Sauv and a Shiraz. All right. It's very good. And um, you have a lot of local beers um, from all over, so talk about these right here. Sure, um, uh, I'm working with a great distributor here, and uh, we've got some local and regional beers. We we all wanted to work with craft beers, right? Okay. So we brought in a lot of Legal Remedy. White Zombies, very popular. Oh, yeah. So is Shotgun Betty. Um, the Mosaic Pale Ale has been really, really popular okay. since we opened on Saturday. And we have, obviously, the Sugar Creek Pale yes. Ale. Very, okay. very good. Yeah. And, um, and so this is, talk about where this is going to go from here as in a full bar. Do you expect to have a full bar as you We do. Okay. We do, yeah. We're just kind of trying to introduce ourselves to, yeah. to Fort Mill. You know, we built this cafe for them. Um, a lot of good vibes in this building. The, mm -hmm. We just celebrated the um, 17th anniversary of when the theater opened on oh. February 20th. So it was very exciting. We've had a lot of people come in and, and just happy that the space was revitalized. Yeah. A lot of good memories here. So they're able to come back, sit with their friends and enjoy. But we are, we're tearing the open. Okay. So uh, what we've started with is beverages, beer, wine, and coffee. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be launching our bakery items crossing our fingers at the end of this week. Okay. And then we're going to be offering a little bit of our savory menu as well. Um, that'll come out in sections and then we're going to be launching an amazing Sunday brunch 
We're going to have bottomless mimosas. We're going to wow. have a Bloody Mary bar. Um, and then we'll be at Full Cylinder. So okay. it's going to take us a couple of weeks, but please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and go to our website at southernsugarcafe.com, okay. and you'll get all the updates and all of the invites for the grand openings. Okay, and tell us about your hours so people sure. can check you out. Right. So Monday through Saturday, we open at 7 a.m., okay. um, and on Sundays, we open at 10 a.m., uh, brunch will be served on Sundays from 10 to 1, okay. and we will close at 5 on Sundays. Okay. And then Monday through Thursday, we again open at 7 a.m. and close at 9, but okay. we're open till 10 o'clock on Fridays and Saturdays. Gotcha. We'll definitely yeah. have to come by and check it out. And before we uh, finish up the interview, I just want to ask, why did you want to open a place like this? Gosh, well, you know, my husband is born and raised in Fort Mill, and this area is very important to both of us. We have family here, and we saw the revitalization of Main Street, and it's it's adorable, yeah. and people love it here. This is home to so many, and it is growing, and what we wanted to do was offer something that complements all the other wonderful businesses on Main Street, Aesthetic Addiction, Crossings on Main, Main and Gray. We've got Hobos. We've got Local Dish, Amar Artiste. Yeah. I mean, all of these wonderful businesses, and we wanted to be a part of that. Um, so we wanted to offer coffee and baked goods and a place to come in and kind of be southern and fancy and have yes. some good coffee and it food. It is fancy yeah. in here. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Courtney, for letting <laughs> thank us come you. here. We really appreciate it. And we will be back on Friday at 1130 with a brand new CN2 today on CN2 Comporium Channel 1102 and on CN2.com.